We're gonna start cooking in 10 minutes. That's what we usually do. So if you're watching this after the live and you wanna just cook the bacon egg cups we're doing, not bacon, the pizza egg cups we're doing, you can go to 10 minutes. I think the lighting looks a lot better. Last time it was all like foggy on YouTube for some reason. It was just like, yeah, really white. So we're making pepperoni pizza egg cups. I'm excited about them. Mega is not gonna eat them, I'm gonna eat them all. Yes. Oh. And the Super Chat donations on YouTube go to Nutrition Coalition this week. We did them once before, but it was actually a big talk talking point mm -hmm. at the Low Carb Breckenridge Conference. An important talking point. The uh, RDAs are going to be revised in 2020, and Nutrition Coalition is um, trying to change them so that low carb is on like the radar, right? The government uh, government oh. recommended is low carb. Yeah, it's important that there's at least a like government somewhat backing of a low carb diet because if you have diabetes or you have some of these like illnesses that are pretty much directly fixed we're not doctors through a low carb diet and you go to the government and you can't even that's not even like an option it just has to be fixed and a good starting point is the um the health guidelines that are being revised in 2020 and a lot of countries around the world go off of what the u.s government yeah. recommends so it's really like a key point in time and what the government recommends is what's fed in schools in hospitals in nursing homes so those are places where people don't really have a say you know so definitely a great cause if you want to donate that would be awesome if not you know no worries thanks for joining i hope you guys are ready to cook if not you know matt will still be answering questions and i'll be doing the cooking so what is up Um, gonna sit our eggs for room temperature to make them puffs. Okay. Are you, I don't know what that. Oh, are you talking about the cream puffs? Are you making the cream puffs? Oh, cream puffs. Okay. Man. <coughs> Sorry, Julius is here. You guys remember? So we have a video today that is the cream puffs. We have a podcast today that was with Rachel Gregory. It's about keto and CrossFit. She did a study on that. Pretty interesting podcast and. I think that's everything. That's everything. The recipe should be linked in the description. It's not the exact recipe. We're making some changes. We're doing pepperoni pizza instead of typical um, bacon cheddar ones, but you can do those too. Those are really good. What's the degree of the temperature? 350? Uh, I gotta pull the recipe up, I guess. Probably 350. Let's just double check. Three fifty. Okay, oh. guys, we're gonna start what? Yeah, three fifty. We're gonna start baking at ten minutes, but preheat your oven to three fifty if you're baking along. We're also going to be using a muffin tin, muffin silicone mold. We're only making egg, but I mean, we're only making eight, but you can make twelve, you can make ten, whatever you want. Why don't you make a podcast with Dr. Ken Berry? It would be really great. We already did. Yep. It's not out yet, but it's coming out maybe next week or pretty soon, I think. Yeah. Um, within the next two weeks at least, but it was really good. You're it was right. a good one, yeah. It's fun. I made pepperoni pizza cups last week. How were they? Mmm. -hmm. I made my husband listen to your podcast about reversing type 2 diabetes and he's finally agreed to do this. Ooh, that's amazing. That's amazing. We're actually going to go a little more in depth on some stuff we learned at the conference, but there is this new, it's about halfway through the study, it's Dr. Sarah Halberg. Um, the data she has so far on a keto diet applied to type 2 diabetes specifically, that's basically all she specializes in, is phenomenal. The results are crazy. I think like one of them was 87% had reduced, if not completely taken off of insulin from the, I think it's been one year so far. Mm -hmm. I'm partial to fathead pizza dough, so is my husband. I think everyone's partial to cheese-based doughs. <laughs> They're very good. Some. Ooh, you bought chopped black olives. That's actually a great addition. I should have gone with that. 
Some days I struggle to hit all my calories and my macro numbers. Do you think it's okay to eat at a deficit and keep my macro ratio the same? Yeah, that's totally fine. I need to get motivated again. I love your channel. Thank mm. you. I hope we're some motivation, but the best motivation is, I mean, you can find it in anything, right? Yeah. I find mine in like also motivational videos or like looking at like, you know, fitness people on Instagram and things like that, but you know, whatever I, works. I watched a really good motivational video today that got me going. It's on this channel. It's called Confidence on Command. It's a YouTube channel. The guy basically just dissects different athletes or like speakers that are very confident and kind of just takes you in. It was on Conor McGregor. Basically, like looking back to 2008, now it's 2017, where he came from and where he is now. It's just very inspiring. Are you drinking exogenous ketones? Nope, this is just an electrolyte mix we got, which actually does not taste very good. It's, it's pretty gross. It's Vega brand, Vega sports. It's just like, it tastes like medicine or bubblegum medicine. Yeah, it does. It tastes like bubblegum. What are you drinking, bro? <laughs> I've lost 140 pounds on keto. Love your channel. Congrats. Wow, thank you. I mean, congrats. <laughs> it's cool to see that the more often we do this cook along, the more people seem to be like preparing the ingredients, getting ready for it. Yeah. And we are going to work on improving our setup a little bit. I have a boom mic that we have to just figure out how to get that going to a phone. So the audio is probably not great right now, but we're working on improving that. And I think maybe down the road we'll do like a Twitch cooking stream. A lot of people Absolutely. Have, have said that would be good. Also, just the next three weeks, um, we're doing like little basic recipes like this because it's easier for us to track on our cut. But after that, free reign. Yeah. We're gonna do chicken thighs. We're gonna do like a ton of delicious, crazy preps and recipes. So get ready for that. Just three, three weeks, guys. So one thing we are doing when we make this recipe that you don't have to do is we're actually evenly dividing things into each egg cup just so it's easier to track for our macros. But yeah. if you're not overly concerned about tracking, just, just mix it all together. pour it all in, yeah. Sonia, thank you for the donation. Love your work. Keep it up. You guys are fun. Seven months in, 55 pounds down. Thank you guys for all your info and yummy recipes. Thank you. Congrats. Good job. Family history of colon cancer. Any ideas of how to up fiber without increasing carbs? You're under the assumption, I'm not a doctor, that increasing fiber prevents colon cancer. I'm not, I do not believe that to be true, but uh, maybe do some more research on that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try, need to do something, type two diabetes. I think keto is a good option. I guess I just have to say we're not doctors like once at the start of this thing, right? Yeah. We're not doctors, guys. Yeah. But based on a lot of the talks at the conference and everything I know about nutrition... On like actual sound research, type 2 diabetes seems to be a perfect candidate for a keto diet. Low carb, not even keto. Yep. Uh, no question. Just appreciate y'all. Thank you, Kim Cool. $2 donation. Thank you. Um, again, this is all going to the Nutrition Coalition. Great... Uh, Great resource, great charity. I want sushi. Please do keto sushi next time. We have sushi on our food blog. You could go check that out. Uh, maybe we'll do sushi. It's not, yeah. I feel like a lot of, yeah, I guess I, I could show you how to roll it. A lot of people struggle with that. I actually like doing the hand rolls, which we have in our cookbook. I like doing the not the hand rolls, so I can dip each piece into soy sauce. I like spicy tuna hand rolls. And then you can also still dip it into soy sauce. I like fried stuff. Been on keto for six months and never felt better. That's great to hear. Thanks for the cream puffs recipe. Hope you guys are breathing better now. Any thoughts on using black soybean to make keto baked beans? I think if you want to make keto baked beans, black soybeans are pretty much your best bet. Mm -hmm. um, you could use boiled peanuts in like a chili for like we the have, bean replacement. Do we have a recipe with that yet? Mm -hmm. We still have to do that. Mm -hmm. Love to see an update on your cannoli recipe. So want cannolis for Easter. What, what would the update be? Not a doctor either, but completely reversed my type 2 diabetes in under a year with keto A1C from 12.2 to 5. Whoa! That's amazing. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you guys like substituting spaghetti squash for pasta? I made spaghetti squash lasagna. It was amazing. It's a, it's a little high for us, I think, right now at least. Yeah. We've never tried it though. 
Yeah, I've never tried it. When will your cookbook be out? May 15th? I think. Pre-order this upcoming week. Tuesday, maybe you guys can pre-order, I think. That'll be exciting. We actually saw a version of the cover of the cookbook. And I didn't love it, but I kinda I'm going to try and get it changed because it's my cookbook. Thank you, Ray Carter, $2 donation. Thank you. Has it been 10 minutes? It has been what? 10 20. 10 20. Okay. We're going to start cooking. Let's do it. Okay. So um, we, we're doing eight egg cups, pepperoni pizza egg cups. So we have eight eggs, eight large eggs. We're using this pepperoni. You can use whatever pepperoni you want. And then we're going to use some shredded Parmesan cheese, a tablespoon per egg cup, one, one large pepperoni per egg cup. And then we're also using this. Basil. basil. We That's couldn't. All they have. We couldn't find like the actual fresh, and we didn't want dried. So this is like the middle ground. So this is a really easy recipe. And then if you want the tomato, a cherry tomato, or some even some marinara sauce. You can add marinara sauce. Good. You can add mozzarella cheese instead of parmesan. You could do sausage pizza cups. You could do sausage, ground beef, whatever meat you want. So first thing I'm gonna do is just slice up eight pepperonis. Will you weigh them? Just yeah. to be sure. Uh, Carolyn Churchill dropping 10 bucks, 40th birthday last night, ate your brownies, didn't break keto, I also won my work weight loss challenge. Woo! Wow. Doing some things over See, there. See, that's a motivator, those diet bests, that's a great way. A lot of people do that. I think that's, per like, that's my whole thing. I, keto desserts, obviously, they're not, they don't have sugar, they're not as good as real desserts. Anyone who tells you they are doesn't have taste buds, but... It's, it's like a fine substitute, and you, you feel like you're indulging, you don't ruin your diet that much. I think it's a great option, um, as opposed to just going off the deep end and eating donuts and, you know, just going nuts. Courtney Scott, mad love to you. Thank you. $2 donation. And then Sebastian Skryzaruski, I can't pronounce your last name, $50. Whoa, balling out over here. What's the record? 50. 50? He tied the record. Love your channel and recipes. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Then Jonathan Van Schock, thanks for your effort. Five dollar donation. Keto Crafty, one ninety nine. No one's ever done a ninety nine on us before. I like it. <laughs> I can't wait to buy your cookbook. Thank you. All of this is going to the Nutrition Coalition, guys. They're doing good things, and if you subscribe to our mailing list, um, when the key points come up in this whole process of getting the the health guidelines changed, we're going to send out emails. And there's like a few key points apparently where you want to like mail your congressman, like sign petitions, and there's there's certain things we'll we'll uh, let you know about that we'll be doing. Yeah, and we'll probably do it on our YouTube channel too. But if you guys don't know, we do have a newsletter, and we put all of our content each week into that. So if you just miss anything, you want to sign up. Basically, if you go to our website and you get the free top ten recipe ebook, you're automatically on the newsletter. Keto Brick out, did you get any? We actually did not pr do the pre-order for the Keto Brick, although we should have to support. We have but some. we though. have a couple. And they there. are bomb. So Mega's just cutting up the pepperonis right now. You don't have to be exact about it, but I am because we're tracking. We got big pepperonis too. We didn't get the little individual ones. So we're so. doing one entire pepperoni per egg cup, which is a lot. I'm gonna change the angle a little bit there for now. How's life in the ATL? We're liking it. Going to Colorado made us realize how much we like it, I think. Yeah, or like how much we dislike high altitude in Colorado. <laughs> and cold. We don't like cold. No. Just curious, do you guys like kimchi? I made a huge batch and my husband hates it, but I feel fermented foods are good for gut health. We love kimchi. We've been eating it every single night. We've just recently been doing it a lot, yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll try to make some. You just recently tried it for the first time too, right? Well, I tried it like sparingly, but now I've just been eating it daily pretty much. Yeah, the first time you tried it in front of me, it's actually on one of our vlogs. Yeah, old we did, one. We did a hot pot vlog and he did not like it. But it was the kind. You can get like different flavors, spicy. Sierra Mo, you guys inspire me and try to stay to try and stay with keto. $2 donation. Love all the recipes. Thank you. Thank you. Carla Chavez, $2. $9.99. My app won't let me go to 10 Cheryl Chick. Thank you. Thank you. Any ideas for portable lunches that don't need heating? Hmm, that's a little tough. Salads don't need heating? 
So I used to do this all the time. Um, Ice I, packs. Yeah, I get a, a freezable lunch box and you put it in the freezer overnight and then you put your food in it in the morning. And by the time lunch rolls around, it's like nice refrigerated temperature. So I would do that and I would do like hard boiled eggs. I did sardines. Um, we would even, I would even do like our keto bread, a couple slices and then put butter. butter. There's a lot of good options as long as you have access to like some kind of refrigeration or even just the cooler but he pack. Had, yeah, you had a really awesome cooler pack for lunch. Where do y'all live? I'm here in sunny Florida. We're, We're in Atlanta. Yeah. I'm weighing out the Parmesan, so we're doing a tablespoon per egg cup. Um, you don't have to weigh it out. You can just eyeball it, go heavy. But once I'm weighed out, then we can start making them. Five and minutes. you're just gonna crack one egg into each cup and then, okay. So right now she's kind of just putting out little piles of equally divided ingredients. And this is only specific for if you're tracking macros like we are because we're doing this very specific thing. Don't feel like you need to do this. You can just kind of skip until the part where we add it all to the Start cups. making them. Yeah. Does MCT powder and oil have the same taste? Not really. No. I would say powder tastes better, but then you got to start questioning why does this powder taste better? What's oil going on here? Oil feels better um, in terms of like energy, but digestively, the powder is less uh, disruptive. Thank you, Emily. 999 donation cookbook on May 15th. Happy B Day to me. I think that's her birthday then. Woo! Also, cooking along, meal prep Sunday. Happy early birthday. And what are, if you guys are making the meal preps, let me know what you're putting in your egg cups. I and wanna... be, be sure to post it on Instagram and tag us if you can. Yes. The Facebook video, you can't see much. Okay, yeah, we're working two cameras over here. You can't see, oh, sorry. She's, yeah. she's just kind of setting the, uh, making piles for the... Because we're strictly tracking, you don't have to do this. You could just wait until I start cracking the eggs. Have you guys tried Smart Buns or Smart Cakes yet? Morpheus Jones, $2 donation. Smart Cakes are amazing. Yeah, we love Smart Cakes. They're... The best. Uh, I've not tried smart buns though, have you? They're probably just like the hamburger buns. Hey guys, started my 48 hour fast last night. Super excited to see number one, if I can do it. Number two, see the benefits of how I feel on an extended fast. Thanks for the video you guys made on an extended fasting. Yeah, let us know how you feel. I think you maybe, it'll be more of a mental exercise is what I found. I really noticed my battle with like boredom eating and just you know, not really true hunger, but just I want to eat because it tastes good. First time using MCT powder and whoa, mega, it went right through me too. Yeah, that'll happen. Are there carbs in marijuana? No, there's not. There's carbs in like edibles though, because they're actual desserts. Okay, what do we got here? Remove everything. Oh, you can put a little basil on each pile too. I'll just put it in the cup itself. Okay. Okay. Please push the white laptop back. Good idea. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. So I've got my uh, cupcake muffin tin silicone mold on a tray for the oven. So if you have a silicone mold, that's perfect. You don't need to do anything. If you're using an actual tin, you probably want to grease each mold. I think we should even grease these a little. Okay, if you want. Sometimes they stick, I remember. They're mats. Just light spray. And we got salt and pepper for seasoning. You could also do oregano, you could do chili powder. Okay, you think I should crack the eggs first? Yeah. Okay. So we are just gonna crack one egg into each Hole. What are these even called individually? Cavities. Cavities. Ew. Did you enjoy the legal 420 while in Colorado? We actually got some CBD patches. They have like a very small amount of THC in them just because they have to apparently. Um, I like the effects of CBD. It's, it's much milder and it's not psychoactive. 
Devon Riggin, ten dollar donation. So right now she's cracking the eggs into the molds there. And then we will add the ingredients. Um, so Devin Riggin, $10 donation. Curious to hear what y'all learned about intermittent fasting at the low carb conference. I've lost 21.4 pounds since January 3rd doing 18.624 and have never felt better. Thanks for all y'all doing in the name of keto. Honestly, um, intermittent fasting wasn't talked about all that much. It's mostly talking about prolonged fasting. That was, there was two talks on fasting and it was mostly just like 48 hour plus. Um, so no one really talked much about intermittent fasting, right? No, uh, there weren't really any talks, unfortunately, but I think, um, I think either way it can be very beneficial depending on the person. I think with intermittent fasting, it's mostly about, uh, just calorie, like how you feel with the meal timing, like if you're able to better restrict calories. I do notice I get a little bit more energy. I think a lot of that is just myself not thinking about food as much because I have it kind of set up more of what I'm gonna eat. So right now I am breaking the yolks because I find like if I add all the ingredients it overflows, I can't break the yolks. So I'm gonna break the yolks and then I'm gonna salt and pepper each egg first before I add the ingredients. I like to just lightly break the yolks. So you get a nice, it's not fully mixed, but it's like a nice, um, yolk, kind of like an egg McMuffin, you know how it's like half yolk. It's also half. pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. So salt and pepper, you guys can do any seasonings you want. You want salt and pepper, right? Yeah. A lot of salt. Use my gray salt. We're using Celtic gray sea salt, but you can use pink, you can use red, you can use black. Cassie Kent, $5 donation. I started low carb in August and found you guys right after I started. You guys have helped me so much, so much info. Thank you. Oh, we appreciate Thank it. Thank you for the support. How many healthy people over 60 do you know doing keto? I guess what does healthy mean? Um, I don't know many people over 60 in general, really. <laughs> yeah, except our parents, and they are not doing keto. Wait, why doesn't that one have cheese? Because it's, oh, it's in there. Hey guys, I'm here all the way from Kenya, Africa. Been two weeks Woo! into the ketogenic lifestyle. Love all your recipes. Lots of love from across the ocean. Wow, that's great. Sarah Wood, $5 donation. You guys are truly amazing. I'm beyond thankful for your motivation and knowledge. I'm trying to teach others about keto, but no luck. I just don't understand. Yeah, hopefully this nutrition coalition where all the donations are going to today kind of helps that because when you have some government backing and they're like, oh, this is not crazy. This is actually makes sense. It's easier for people to buy in. But when the government's been telling you low fat for 40 years and then you say high fat, it's, it, people are resistant to that. Never heard of gray salt. Yeah, there's a ton of salts. We actually have a pretty lame salt video. We do. It's, it's lame. It's not it's good. Old. Yeah. Okay. Now I have the salt and pepper in the egg cups. I'm just going to add the pepperoni and the cheese. So add your ingredients at this time. Do we have a promo code for uh, Keto Mojo? Um, it's, it's Keto Connect if we do. We might have one. Yeah, I think we just have like a link. They're still working on the promo. I've tried to do coconut macaroons a couple times. It hasn't come out great. I have some good ideas on how to make it better. I'm just, that, that one's in the pipeline. I'm working on that one. Oh, I thought you were reading a comment. No, <laughs> someone asked about coconut macaroons. I just had a cheat day and I feel so bad. I hurt all over and feel sick. Don't think I will do that again. I gained three pounds in one day. Is that normal? It's water retention yeah. for the weight gain. And, but yeah, a lot of people, like I had a hangover from eating the carbs. Honestly, that is just, do it as part of the process. Like that's a lesson now you kind of know how you feel when you eat carbs. I remember like the last time we've had carbs is when we did the carb ups and it's it's really like a lesson. Like you kind of learn some things. You're like, I don't feel good with carbs at all. I don't see any need to have them. But coming off of a standard American diet, of course it's hard to give up right away. You're gonna have cheat days, but I think 
just view that as part of the process and then eventually the cheats become less and less until you just really don't want them anymore? Do you guys have a Facebook community page? We have a Facebook group and we have a uh, Keto Connect Facebook page. The Facebook group is Keto Connection, which we're live streaming to right now. I think I made one extra pile. Classic. This is why I do all the math when we're calculating recipe. I nutrition. can't even do like basic counting to eight. Okay, so I've got my cheese and my pepperoni in. Now I'm gonna just top it with some. What's this look like? It smells and looks delicious. But I'm just gonna top it with some basil. Oh, yeah, go hard with the basil. This smells really good. He meant to say basil, guys. So this is called lightly dried basil. We've never gotten it before, but, oh, but it actually smells incredible. I love basil, basil. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions about the recipe? Is everyone kind of on board with this, what we're doing here? We usually move pretty slow. Your, yours might even be in the oven at this point. <laughs> No one is right about certain diets. They just know what's right for them. Just think about religion. Same thing. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people view their diet as religion, I've come to find. Go hard on the basil. <laughs> okay, so at this point, you can give it another mix, or you can just pop it in the, um, the oven. So do we want to mix it? I want you to just pop it in, I think. Okay, so we're going to pop it in. The oven is preheated to 350, and we're going to go... Uh, I think it's 25 to 30, we're but let's start. go a little light. Let's go 20. Okay, we're going to do 20 minutes, but if you want yours fully cooked through, I would say 25. You can test also with a toothpick. Yeah, someone said they would put parsley in. I think you can also do oregano. You can do Italian seasoning. You can do a little garlic powder, onion powder. That's what they look like. Whatever you guys like. And throw some cherry tomatoes on there if you want, too. I would definitely do tomatoes. Robert Brown, $10 donation. I just turned 60 and it is a godsend, this channel and others like Dr. Berg. Keep up the great work you do. Down 75 pounds since last May. Also doing 16-8 intermittent fasting the last few weeks and it is working. Woo, that's incredible. I know, Dr. Berg is really doing good work out there. Do you there. want to eat that pile? No. Sadly, we can't. Well, can. you can keep it there. Maybe I'll eat it for a snack at some point. <laughs> Um, let's see what's going on on Facebook. What's going on over there? Uh, love you guys. I know that people have exogenous keystones. How do you feel about those when starting? Keystone light are you talking about? <laughs> exogenous ketones. Um, so when starting, they could come in handy for the pure fact that they are high in electrolytes and that could help you get over the keto flu. But you can buy electrolytes for cheaper yeah. elsewhere. So um, they're pricey. Yeah. I think they make honestly even less sense when you're starting because your body doesn't know how to use ketones yet. So you're giving it something it can't use. So you're really peeing a majority of them out. If you're really well fat adapted and you maybe have a cheat meal or something, then I think they make more sense because your body knows how to actually use ketones at that point. But yeah, if you have the uh, disposable income to throw at some ketone supplements, it's worth experimenting with to see what you think of them. Yeah, we have a coupon code for Perfect Keto, Keto Connect, 20% off. Just joined in, what are you making? We just put pepperoni pizza egg cups in the oven for a meal prep. We made eight of them. Um, simple ingredients, eggs, basil, pepperoni, cheese, and then salt and pepper. Anything from the conference changed your mind on anything? That's a great question. And we actually have a compilation video coming soon where we ask all of the doctors and scientists and speakers there what they've changed their mind on in the last year. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a really good video. Never trust Mega's pronunciation of certain things. Remember us part of May? Yeah. I do remember. Is there anything you changed your mind on from the conference though? Um, focusing more on like internal health as opposed to like aesthetic, wanting to look super sexy. I just, uh, I want to live long and like see a lot of things and I think internal health including gut, met, mind, all of that really is huge and food plays a big part into that so just eating healthier will promote that. And like I don't mean eating healthier as in just eating a keto diet, I mean optimizing on a keto diet so like staying away from trans fats, um, eating, what? Yeah. Oh, having like a omega six to three ratio that's right for my body. Like taking supplements if needed. There's so many things, little things that you don't want to do because it's extra work. But I think it makes a big difference in the long term. 
I almost had the opposite takeaway, or it's at least something I've been thinking about more since the conference is how much does food quality really matter? There is definitely, it was divided at the conference. Mm -hmm. Some people think it matters a lot. Like Mike from High Intensity Health is definitely on that side. One of the speakers is on that side. And then a lot of people are, will tell you it really doesn't matter all that much. It's a lot about macros. It's not really that much about micros. Um, so I've just been thinking about that. And the, the speech I loved was glucagon versus insulin, which we kind of talked in one of our videos. Glucagon is something to look into and how important it is for a keto diet just to not think exclusively. Like when you think about protein, it spikes insulin, but it also spikes glucagon, which kind of has a negating effect. And I think that comes down to the individual as well. Like what is your metabolic history like, your history of like certain diseases or uh illnesses like I have autoimmune issues I have psoriasis so for me maybe a better like a healthier gut healthy diet is more important than it is for Matthew yeah. and he can get away with eating McDonald's all the time or whenever he wants you know Keto Angela $10 donation thank, thank you. you question about your Amazon links after I use one of your links do you get credit for everything I purchased during that session or do I need to use individual links for each item? Looks like you're trying to support, which we appreciate. Thank you. How it works is once you click one of our Amazon links, it's a 24 hour um, cookie. So any this is how it works for all Amazon links. Um, so anything you purchase within 24 hours, what, unless you click someone else's affiliate link in that time, we'll, we'll get credit for that. So you just have to click one and then order. Thank, Thank you. you. Jonathan Van Schack, his second donation, five dollars or third time maybe. Let's try this a third time with super chat. How long do these egg cups last? Can I make on Sunday for the full work week? In my opinion, yes. Yes. Some people are really picky about. Do calling. not freeze them. That's gr like they will just be terrible. But in the fridge, I would say six to seven days, I agree. right? Yeah. LJF, twenty dollar donation. Hey guys, I will be sixty one next Saturday, St. Patrick's Day. Have been doing keto since December 19th, down 27 pounds, and I drink ketones also. That, if that works, that's great. Uh, happy early birthday as well. Can we pre-order your cookbook? Tuesday, watch our video. I'm pretty sure we'll have a pre-order link. Next week day. for sure at some point. We'll make an announcement everywhere. Um, I practice instinctive keto. For me, I know the obvious things to avoid to lose weight, and tracking macro hasn't been necessary. I keep it basic as I can. That sounds like a sustainable diet to me. I mean, ideally, you probably don't want to be tracking macros throughout life. The, the goal is always to be kind of intuitive while still getting really good results. For most people in modern society, it's, it's tough to eat intuitively because none of these foods, like Snickers bars aren't made to be eaten intuitively. They're made to just be Like the mini excess. ones especially, yeah. Yeah. those are meant to eat in bulk. Where are the donations going? They're going to Nutrition Coalition. Uh, started by Dr. Sarah Hallberg and Nina Teichholz. Changing the RDA guidelines to be more low carb. At least have a low carb option for 2020. Jeff Johnson, you guys are great. Thank you. Fighting the good fight. Keep it up. $10 donation. Appreciate Thanks so it. much. Most of the studies on diet and longevity show that a high carb diet is optimal. Um, well, there hasn't been a ketogenic longevity study and... I mean, so this is Eric Yam. He's also a pronounced vegan, vegan who comments on all of our videos. Um, yeah, so if you're comparing carb intake on a, on a standard American diet, higher carb generally has better longevity because most of those people are more health conscious, like vegans, for example. Um, but yeah, we're still like waiting on the low carb studies on this, yeah, but also carb, I mean, just caloric intake is also linked to longevity. Like the less calories you intake in your life, the longer you live, which means vegans live a real long time. Do you ever get your kidney and liver functions tested? Protein powder can have an impact on your kidneys. So I have actually gotten my kidney levels tested before, and I don't know what you mean by protein powder can have an effect on your kidneys. I, it's definitely not as um, hard for your kidneys to process like a whey protein versus actual like ground beef or steak. So I don't know, I guess if you could elaborate on that comment. You guys do very well with presentation, keep it up. Yeah, we're hoping to get better. I think this- I'm terrible. This is something we want to keep doing. This is fun. We want to get our setup better right now. We're just using phones and stuff, so the audio is maybe not great. 
You just had the macro cakes, and they Dead. were so good. Those are really good. They're oh, so good. Um, have you guys tried Carb Quick using it for the first time? Now, we have used it. We have a recipe on our site, like munchkins, which are actually really, really good. Did someone say they see? Oh, yeah. really is. Um, but we just prefer to use, like, coconut flour, almond flour. It's just, it's more simple, and we don't like, you know, all the ingredients, I guess, in Carb Quick. Yeah, it's really easy just to make your own. What, he wants to come up. Pick him up. He wants to come up. He wants the pepperoni and cheese is what he wants. We already have, we have a podcast with Dr. Berg. Yeah, it was actually really fun. It's probably like around number 14 or something. It's a while ago. Um, Julius does need a stool, but the dog is kind of germy in the kitchen. Yeah, a lot of people get on us about germs. We love our pets, though. We, yeah, and we so, like, germs. what about, like, your toddlers running around? They're really germy, and they pick their nose, but I'm not like, ew, kids in the kitchen, because he's our son. Do you think pepperoni is a health food? Eric Ham, are you going to take over the chat again? No, we don't think pepperoni is a health food. <laughs> I mean, is it part of a healthy keto diet? It can be. It's, it's a processed meat, though. It's far from, like, optimal. Um... If the studies show negative results, will you adjust? I'm using this for weight loss, so initially I am. Not too concerned with negatives. Yeah, of course we'll adjust we're, as we're data presents who itself. We are open to changing our minds. Unlike Eric Yam, we are very just open minded. <laughs> Shots at Eric Yam. Hey guys, amazing work. Thank you. I discovered you through Keto Normies. That's Woo! our podcast. It's always fun to hear that because I never expected people would like. Ex um, so they've heard us before us. they've seen us. They've heard our voices. Oh, you know? did you, what did you think? I need to know. <laughs> do the voices match the bodies? What do you recommend for electrolytes? We like Zip Fizz, we like Dr. Berg's, and then I just got this Vega sports electrolyte mix. It's gross. It's kind of gross. It's not the best. Do you have a munchkin recipe without carb quick? Yes, we do. They are Cinnabon munchkins, and they are the best on our food blog. Do you think it's possible to eat raw on keto? If you're talking raw meat, then yeah, maybe. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it. What's his name? The guy. Uh, Frank Tofano? Frank Tofano. Look his YouTube up. He eats a ton of raw meat. Okay, so this new thing, Jonathan Carrion has been posting on every video. I don't know if you've noticed. He I want to bang mega. He always posts want to bang mega. Sometimes multiple times. Where is it? Did someone comment? Yeah, no, he posted it again. Oh, <laughs> so I totally forgot because we did our vlog for this week, but I was going to give Jonathan Carey on a shout out because, hey, I appreciate it. And people like get offended by it, but it's like, it doesn't offend me. Does it offend you? No, it doesn't offend okay. me. Okay. Um, does Zip Fizz make you jittery? It, I mean, it's caffeine, so it yeah. has two, I think some of them have 100 milligrams, some of them have 200. 200 yeah. So if you get jittery with caffeine, then maybe. Melissa Lewis is a long-time listener. We appreciate you, Melissa. $10 donation. Once I get to my goal weight, do I still keep my macros, keto macros, or less fat? Always, thought, always thoughts on PMS, PSMF, protein-sparing, modified fat. I don't really have thoughts on that, but I want to look into it a little bit more. As far as the macros, I would do the opposite. Me personally, main, maintaining, I would do higher fat and maybe just increase the calories a little, but it's all about what you want. I like how I feel when I do keto, so I'm just gonna keep doing it even when I'm maintaining, but increase the fat, because fat makes you feel good, makes you have more energy. Are you guys going to Keto Fest? I don't think we're gonna be able to make it due to like a wedding, but we definitely want to go probably next year. Uh, me and my husband started seven days ago and hit the natural grocers. We just went there for the first oh, time yeah. and we loved it. They have a bunch of flavored stevias that we got, liquid ones. We loved the pork chops with bacon, apple cider vinegar. I forgot how good that Those recipe are good. is. Those are amazing. Thank you for making them. I don't care for bulletproof coffee. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. Not, not. No, mandatory. not necessary. <laughs> is nutritional yeast beneficial on keto? It's, it has B vitamins. It's not essential or anything. Um, will taking supplements break intermittent fasting? What are you fasting for, first off? Um, it kind of depends what supplements. Like if you take, I don't know, six fish oil pills. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of calories from fish oil. Some supplements have rice flour in them and stuff. I would say no, but I just don't like stressing that much about all these little intricacies. If you're doing 90% of things right, that doesn't really matter that much. Keto Kids, $10 donation. Thank Thanks for all the amazing keto vids. This is our one year keto anniversary. Kids ages 
6, 10, 12, 13, no cheats, keto for life, dang. Yay, yay. How much heavy weight have you guys lost? Um, since starting keto before the cut, we hadn't lost any weight. It was for just like lifestyle. But since the cut, Matt has lost 20 pounds. Yeah, I've lost 20 pounds in, in like 65, 70 days. And I've lost three and a half, but I feel amazing. I look a lot better. Um, and in three short weeks, you'll see our final pictures for the cut. Would you limit salt intake? I mean, there is a limit. You don't want to just like are, be yeah. pounding salt, but no, I don't like, I add salt. I go... I increase my salt intake. Yeah, I'm naturally like light-handed with salt, so I just, I don't, um, I just go at it and uh, I hit the average. My son lost 70 pounds in six months on keto, stalled the last three months. He eats 60% fat, 30 to 40% protein, less than 20 net carbs. Has about 30 pounds to lose, suggestions? You can drop the protein to fat ratio. So like increase the fat, maybe hit like 75% fat yep. and start there and see how that affects him. That would be my recommendation. How long have you been eating keto strictly? How long? Three years? Whoa. It's, well, strictly, what do you mean? Because we did carb cycling for a bit, for, for a month. month. Um, I mean, we've done three years and I think maybe five days of eating carbs in the past three years. Yeah. For, but like it was also very strategic. We didn't like just go at it. Um, New study showed that we... high fat versus low fat diets was essentially a wash. Takeaway, both diets are just as good. So do you do as you wish? Wish I could link. Well, that's only in the context of weight loss. So yeah, if the only thing you're concerned about is weight loss and you control for calories, which is another thing that you shouldn't be doing. So like, yeah, if you do a, a standard American diet and a, versus a keto diet and calories are the exact same, weight loss could be potentially right around the same. But when you're left to your own devices at home, it's a lot easier to restrict calories doing keto. That's the main benefit of keto for weight loss. It's satiating, it's easy to calorie restrict, your hunger gets back, you get back in tune with your hunger. So studies like that just kind of take out of context the diet in my opinion. Sherry, thank you for the donation. You guys are amazing. You have made the transition to the keto lifestyle easier and fun. Two months in, 25 loss. Thank you for the videos. Congrats, that's amazing. This guy keeps telling me to kiss you. We need a little romance. No, he said lips. He said lips. We're a PG <laughs> channel, guys. I, actually, we're not, right? I say some de divisive stuff. Did I use the word correctly? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Block Eric, he's creating bad vibes. We have a strict rule where we don't block people on our channel. We yeah. don't censor the internet, we which don't. I know a lot of people do, which is messed up. I, there's some people that just have channels that are eco chambers of, you're the best. I don't want that to be our channel at all. You can block certain words. Yeah, you can censor words. Which is comments. crazy to me. And a lot of people do that. Did the subject of keto and cancer come up at all in Breckenridge? A little bit. It did. It did. Briefly. Not, not really. Though. Not like in depth. There was like no speech on it or anything. Did you start your blog first or your YouTube first? And did you notice more viewers on your YouTube, your blog after starting YouTube? Uh, food blog first. And yes, uh, definitely YouTube pushed traffic towards our, our food blog. But I think Pinterest was the main, main big gun. As we got a bigger YouTube channel, of course, it generates a little more traffic to our website. Um, RT Type just donated four ninety nine. Very anonymous donation. You. That's kind hearted of you. I only block the bots that sell stuff constantly. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. How do you get your blender clean after making BBC? I just wash it with water. Yeah, we because we make it every single day. We're not gonna dishwash it every day. Um. <laughs> Let's see. What Someone is said I want to bang Matt. Whoa. Ooh, I love when people comment on like how cute Matt is. Someone, oh, I saw a comment that said someone, Matt looks like Ryan Gosling. No. I which do I don't agree not with. At all. But I think that's a huge compliment. Do you use beef gelatin? How do you incorporate it into your food? We have used it before for our coconut, um, coconut flour chocolate chip cookies. So it makes them chewy. Yep. Eric, I feel like you should start your own YouTube channel, preaching your knowledge. Doesn't he have a YouTube channel? I don't know. Maybe he does. I assume that's why he's here. Is, is chocolate ice cream count as a fat? 
Uh, well, all foods are comprised of fats, proteins, and carbs. So I would say chocolate ice cream in general is more in the carb category, but it has a little bit of all three. Are there going to be asparagus recipes? We have one in the cookbook, um, but do you mean just in general? Yeah, I guess we could do asparagus recipes. Yeah. On, on, on all recipes, a similar egg cup recipe is 20 to 25 minutes. So I think it's the same. Yeah, what, we're doing 20 minutes here? Mm -hmm. I like my eggs a little on the undercooked side, but I think this will be just barely cooked through. You guys make ketone fun. Great personalities to watch. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank Appreciate you. it. What electrolytes do you recommend? I mean, obviously the major ones that you need on a keto diet, um, potassium, magnesium, and sodium. We already kind of talked about this. We buy Dr. Berg's electrolyte mix. We buy Zip Fizz. Mainly just supplementing potassium. We get sodium from table salt, sea salt, and we take a magnesium pill every day, um, like 250 milligrams. Is your cookbook, cookbook going to be available in Canada? It's going to be available on Amazon. So I think that means it should be available in Canada. Tomatoes, onions, and peas. Do you eat them? Many ketoers do not. I would not like doing without them. Peas, I would definitely stay away from. Not really a great option. Tomatoes and onions can definitely fit into a keto yeah. diet. Um, just count the carbs. Stay under your carb intake daily and you're fine. I make salt drinks where I do a pinch of pink salt and water with some Mio. Yeah, that's what I do too, basically. Um, Matt, take your hat off so we can see your hair. My hair? It's just kind of like... I just I put the hat on when my hair looks bad. That's It's just a quick fix so I don't have to actually do my hair. Did you contact the publisher for your cookbook or did they contact you? They actually contacted us. Um, tried having a small cheat day yesterday and it was surprisingly how you can feel the carbs. Yeah, it is surprising. Right away it goes to your head. Your cookie re cookies recipe, what can we use instead of beef gelatin? You can use gelatin, like pork gelatin. Uh, you can even try collagen, it won't be quite as good. Oh my god, these are gorgeous! They do look gorgeous. Whoa. Wow, those are beautiful. So did you guys pull yours out? If so, take a picture and send it to us on IG. That's perfect. And then we're gonna do 20 minutes. Are there any vegetarian gelatin options? I don't know, maybe Eric Yam can fill us in on that. I don't think there is. I think like chia seeds may be as close as you can really get. I switched off carb cheat days just over and just over eat a little on keto foods occasionally. That works That's for what me. we do. We do yeah. keto caloric refeeds. Uh, maybe agar agar on the uh, or oh. guar gum instead of gelatin. Yeah. I think xanthan gum, guar gum could be good options. What are the donations for today? Um, Nutrition Coalition. Nutrition Coalition. Thank you. Ground flax and chia for gelatin sub. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea too. Can having a cheat meal break no weight loss, like break a stall? Um, people have said it does. So maybe I, if you want to give it a try, then that's your decision. Just know that like you could also just have water retention as a weight gain or just feel really crappy after all the carbs. For anyone here missing ice cream, I do frozen raspberries, heavy whip, and some vanilla, and it will freeze together and it's delish. Someone just said I look like Kim Kardashian. John, thank you. Did you see the new Vogue cover from India? No, how is it? India about? Vogue? No, I put it on our Instagram story a while uh, ago. Uh, she looks incredible. Mega thinks she looks like Takashi69, too. I do. I put <laughs> up a story yesterday. Some people said they see the resemblance. Do you guys wish you could eat fruit? No, I feel good without eating fruit. I've, I've never been a big fruit person. I used to eat fruit like six apples a day. I used to eat a I ton of fruit. Never but, ate uh, fruit. No, I feel better like this. Do you have an English muffin recipe? I'm in desperate need. There's one in our cookbook, right? Yes. English muffin recipe coming Super in the good. cookbook. Um, should we like, what should we do with them? I thought we'd do them cool and then if you wanted to try one or yeah, like we can, can just one. break one in half, whatever you want. I'll try one. Okay. Any recommendations on breath <laughs> ketone meter? I honestly wouldn't really recommend them. They're not that good. I would just get a keto mojo, blood ketone meter. 
When does your cookbook come out? May 15th, but I think pre-order starts next week. Woo! Um, just finished week three on keto down 13 pounds. That's amazing. Feel amazing. What collagen do you use? We don't nice. use collagen. But we have, like, I've used the perfect keto chocolate collagen only because it's, it's chocolate and it's delicious, but not for, like, the benefits. What's your favorite kind of meat? That's a good question. Because I love so many different, like, I love chicken, but I also love ribeyes. I love a T-bone. <laughs> What's your favorite meat? Uh, favorite meat? I really like duck breast. That's probably my favorite, but I also like crab and seafood and stuff. Wow, we're so different. Yeah. Biggest mistake you see for people three weeks in? Uh, probably just, you know, when you take away carbs, they really don't add fat. They just do more protein a lot of the time, I would say. Um, and then, like, just feeling like me mentally they, they can't do it because, you know, there's so many cravings around, like, so many... Um, carbs around you. So I just think like focusing less on what you can't have and focusing more on what you can have is a good way to go about it. I was looking forward to your wrap. Is that still in the works? It is, but we're just, we got so much stuff going on right now. We're, but we're definitely, definitely still going to do it. Yeah. Nice sexy man. Help. I'm being dragged to Culver's tonight. What can I eat? That sounds like a delicious butter burger treat to we, me. We did Culver's uh, fast food video, yeah. a bang bang. Get a butter burger, no bun. Yeah, well, you're good. With a salad? How many net carbs are in the cups? I believe about one. About one. One total, one net. Same thing. Will you have a keto wedding cake? Probably not. I don't know. I was trying to think like what a lot. Some people do like cheese tower things for their wedding cake. I've seen those. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. We could get you like a goat a cheese. A lot of one. raw goat cheese tower. <laughs> Will Can, there be a recipe for every recipe in your book? No. What does that mean? A recipe? Recipe video. Video? Yeah. You didn't say video. No, but we'll probably do like four or five of them. Yeah, but we have 100 plus recipes in the cookbook. We will not be doing videos for all of those. Also, that would defeat the purpose of you supporting us in buying the cookbook. No, we're not getting married. No, no, no. no. Someone just asked a question. No. Someone no. asked a question about... Making egg roll in a bowl later for this week for like the fifth time. It is so good. I can eat that every single night and be happy. How much will the cookbook be? I don't quite know, actually. Mm -hmm. We don't really have control of that, which is probably not good. <laughs> but yeah, we'll find out on Tuesday, I think. How do you feel about Keto Reboot? I don't know what that is, so you have to let me know. I feel bad about anything called Reboot, Cleanse, Detox, any of those words I just don't think are good to use in context. Except of. he forced me to do the lemon cayenne pepper I syrup did. cleanse. I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> to cleanse toxins. But you're against that. Um, even my teenagers love the egg roll and bowl. Yeah, that's definitely a fan favorite, I think. Matt, you sound like Norm MacDonald. Do you know who that is? Yeah, I do. Have you tried TKD? Yes, we have tried TKD. Matt really liked it, right? Did you see... Um, I, it's a tool in my toolbox now. I, I, it's something I could maybe go back to. I'd recommend it way over cyclical keto. Cyclical keto is just too intrusive to the benefits of keto. It's a good way to start, though. If you were thinking of CKD, you could try TKD first. Made your chewiest almond flour cooked chocolate chip cookies and the flavor was good. But the texture was more muffin-like than cookie. Is that normal? No. I, I didn't try them. That the the almond flour ones? No, those shouldn't be. Those should not I be. I think the muffin coconut flour. The coconut flour ones are a little muffiny. Bready. Um, what did they substitute? Allulose? No, they should be pretty like firm, but but chewy. Um. Any plans for Easter recipes? I am thinking of a few. I want to try doing those peanut butter eggs because I love those. Those are my favorite. So maybe we'll try that. Where can we order your cookbook next week? It's going to be linked in the description of our vlog next week, but um, also just on Amazon you can pre-order. Whoever, whoever said you uh, resemble the rapper Takashi69 needs their head shine. I mean, I see. I think it's the eyes. Maybe the mouth. And eyes are big. Like, I definitely see it a little bit. I know what she's talking about. Me too. Um... 
My eggs are looking good, about eight more minutes. Does Mega sleep with protective device to protect your lips? I don't know what that means. This guy's been talking about your lips the entire time, but she does sleep with mouth tape. We do mouth taping at night. Because they're just like a big feature on my face? Yeah, he's very oh. into your lips. Joy, thank you, $5. Love you guys, thank you for all you do for the keto world. I've been doing keto for nine months and reversed to reverse type 2 diabetes and in the process lost 90 pounds. Ooh. That's amazing. Congratulations. Will you sign my book? I'd love to sign your book if we meet you in person. Yeah. We're contemplating a cookbook tour, but now that I think about it, we have so much going on. Yeah. The next couple of months after the cookbook comes out. I've never actually signed an autograph. Would that be considered an autograph or like a book signing? Yeah. That, maybe you'll be the first. Any delicious Indian recipes in the cookbook? Yes, we have one Indian recipe. Um, I made your keto pecan pie. It tastes really good, but I couldn't get over the icy aftertaste. Yeah, that the cooling sensation comes from the erythritol. You're just not used to it, but the more you eat it, the more used to it you'll get. What you can try doing is reducing the erythritol and increasing a different sweetener like stevia to just so you don't need to use as much erythritol. Um, I pay for a signed edition. That's so cute. You guys are so sweet. We would never do that. That's, okay, so the egg this? cups did deflate. A little. Should I, I mean, pull one out on the plate? Yeah, get on a plate. The title of our book is Keto Made Easy, right? Yeah. Are you coming to the Caribbean? I'd love to come to the Caribbean at some point. Matt doesn't have a passport. Oh yeah, we gotta get one. Get one. What do you recommend to bulk cook for the week? My absolute favorite thing to bulk cook is some kind of like egg casserole, egg frittata thing that I just cut into slices and, and store it throughout the week. That's what I normally make. <laughs> do you have any vegan friends? Um, I have vegetarian friends, vegetarian but not friends. vegans. Who's your vegetarian friends? Well, there's Jocelyn, oh, Lou, yeah. I guess, kind of. Whoa, this oh. looks great. There it is, guys. It's really hot. It's so pretty. I'll take a little bite here. Let's see if we got the flavor right. Yeah, it looks amazing. It does look good. The cheese melted and pulled apart. Are you guys eating yours too? Let us know. Do you drink bone broth frequently? No, we do not drink bone broth frequently. We definitely want to start making it. Um, we just haven't really had the time or found any good places to get the bones. Let's see the cross section. That is delicious. That's better than the original one we have in the recipe. It's not the prettiest cross section. Would love to have an Atlanta area meetup this summer. Yeah, we'll try to do one. Are those normal muffin size? Yeah, they're normal muffin tin. Um, any keto ketchup or barbecue sauce you recommend? We have a barbecue sauce recipe on our site, but also G Hughes mm -hmm. makes a sugar-free one you can find in stores. I think Walmart. Still rocking the turmeric tea? We've been doing turmeric in our meals a little bit more instead of doing the tea. Mm -hmm. Can you please state the ingredients again? Absolutely. So just large eggs. Um, Pepperoni, basil, and Parmesan, shredded Parmesan cheese. Now I need to eat this whole thing. It's really good. Obviously. I'm so jealous that he's eating right now. Uh, making your chicken breast pizza crust now. I have 33 pounds. I have lost 33 pounds. Well. And the hubby just started last week and has lost eight. Whoa. That's amazing. Congratulations to both of you. What do you got going on? You said you're really busy coming up. We're going to Hawaii. We're going, We're going to, to Vegas. We're going to Arkansas. My friend's visiting. His sister's visiting. We're going to KetoCon. We're going to a wedding. Yeah. It's like way too much. But also amazing stuff. No reason to complain. Hawaii and Vegas, like I am ready right now. Why isn't Mega eating? She's doing no egg whites right now. And also, yeah, just no egg whites. Yeah. And cheese. And cheese. I'm doing dairy free. She's doing autoimmune protocol. When and where is KetoCon? Um, I think we have a, do we have a link for KetoCon? We do, Did somewhere. You put one? Oh, you didn't put one here? No. Um, I think it's in June, I'm not really sure the exact dates. Hawaii, Vegas, Arkansas, yeah. 
Actually, we're going to meet Keto Savage one more time. Is Mega pregnant? That is so mean. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not pregnant. But I've been thinking about it, and I feel like it'd be really, really fun and exciting. So I'll, to all of you people who've been pregnant, or women who are currently pregnant, you're living the life. These are a winner, for sure. Yeah, cups. They're delicious. It's better than the bacon ones. Which island? We are going to Oahu. Well, that's it, guys. You want to call it? Yeah, let's call it. All right, guys, this was a blast. We'll see you next Sunday. And again, one to two days in advance, hopefully two, we will post what we're making and the ingredients so you can get those ready. Message us if you have suggestions for what you'd like to see. Do you guys like the idea of more meal preppy stuff or would you also like to see like some desserts, some muffins, some just single bowl things like one meal? Just a breakfast scramble or something. Yeah, let us know. All right, we love you. Thanks guys. Thanks for the donation. They're going to Nutrition Coalition.